When there's a school shooting threat, we have to take a look at the county as a whole. We spoke to one parent who signed up for all the school's alerts, but she said when she got the notification, it still put her in a panic. I was nervous. I was nervous because me and my husband just recently bought a house over here. And part of the reason is because we consider this a good school district and that, that was very scary. Victoria Graham has three kids in two different Grovetown schools. She makes sure she is in the know. We on everything they got. So alerts, emails, text messages, class dojo, we on all of it. On Wednesday, she received a phone call and a text that Grovetown City Police responded to a report of an adult who made a threat to an area school. The alert just didn't indicate which school. That did have us concerned. I didn't know if it was elementary school, middle school, high school. So we took her questions straight to the top and asked Assistant Superintendent Penny Jackson what they knew at the time of the report. Because at the time, that's the only information we had, that there was a school in Grovetown um, that had been part of a threat made by an adult off campus. The adult accused is 57-year-old Cheryl Sidwell. According to the incident report, she made these comments out of anger due to finance issues. But every threat, Ms. Jackson says, is one they take seriously. In today's world, um, some, it has to happen rapidly. Some schools were on a soft lockdown until the suspect was located. They had Sidwell in custody in under 10 minutes. There is a district-wide and school-specific notification system. This was area-specific, so they didn't use a district-wide channel. Ms. Jackson says it's important for parents to make sure they have correct information logged into the system. And we get yearbook alerts, we get all these different um, fundraising alerts we get, and you know, they might be annoying at times, but it's the times such as that that you don't want to turn off communication. I feel like they've taken all the precautions they can take. It's just, you know. If you're a parent who has a kid in the Columbia County school system, you can get in touch with your specific school to see how you can sign up for their alerts. In Columbia County, Jenna Kelly, WJBF News Channel 6.